guys, Coach Ben here, BigBenches.com. Today I want to simplify the bench press for you. So a lot of you who don't have a coach, don't have a gym to train at with people watching you, I'm going to break down the bench press, three main key areas you want to concern yourself with, all right? Three key factors that make every bench press great. First starting with the setup. So obviously, first thing I want to do is get my shoulders in a good position to bench. So I want to pinch the scaps together midway on the bench and then slide myself back to bridge myself up onto my traps even higher. And now I have a nice shoulder tuck. All right, this is going to protect my shoulders. So no matter where I am, if you're at a commercial gym, this is a little difficult to do with their bench setup, but you want to create that shoulder tuck, all right? So your shoulders are back. I'm not going to be in a position where I'm using my shoulders. I'm not going to hurt myself. All right, I'm tucked back. I'm decreasing the range. Next thing you want to worry yourself about is how you're creating leg drive on the bench because that's a very key factor to be able to press big weight is being able to get that leg drive. Now, very simple. I would just keep my feet out flat like I have right now. I have my shoulders set up. I take this bar out, and as I'm taking it out, I'm pushing myself back. You see how I'm doing that? My feet are flat, toes are out a little bit, and I'm pushing myself back in the bench. See, now I'm nice and tight. And I'm just gonna keep that push. See how I'm kinda pushing myself off the bench. Next thing you wanna concern yourself with is how you're pressing the bar. Okay, so we have our shoulder tuck, we have our leg drive, now we want to concern ourselves where we're gripping and how we're pressing. So for me, I'll put my ring finger on the ring. It's going to be different for everyone, right? Everyone has different widths and different structures that, that they have and they're going to use. So we have our tuck and leg drive. Now, what you want to concern yourself with is in the bottom of the press, you want to be able to form a 45 degree angle with your elbow. So you don't want to be benching out here in your chest. You don't want to be in here with your triceps. You want to be out 45 degrees. This angle right here should be about 45 degrees. So we're not 90, 45, okay? And in the bottom, you want your wrists to align with your elbows. So whatever grip you need to use to obtain this is what you got to do, all right? Your setup, legs, just a recap. You can see where I touch. My wrists are right aligned over my elbows and I'm creating that 45 degree tuck with my elbows. This is where I need to be pressing the bar. I'm just gonna angle my press back and that's it. Simplifying the bench press. Start with your setup, get that shoulder tuck, protect your shoulders, get that leg drive so you can press bigger weight and you have your legs involved and then adjust the width of your grip. Just put yourself in a better position to press that bar with maximal force. All right, I'm Coach Ben. Email me, Coach Ben at BigBenches.com if you'd like to join our online coaching program. People are getting stronger, so can you. If you have a power meet coming up, I'll go and coach you at your power with the meet. Shoot me an email. I'll see you guys next week.